Hello ladies and gents, this is Connor, and this game that I am playing today is called Arcane Sorcery. So, the, the way I got this game was quite different from, you know, how I usually get games, which is, you know, I pay for them. The developer, a Mr. Andrew Rowe, sent me this copy for free. Just before the game actually launched, he sent me the Steam code and asked if I wouldn't mind taking a look at it. And it is the type of game that I am really interested in. That being uh, strategy games, 4x strategies, I am really, really into. Uh, so, yeah, I, I looked at the store page itself and it seems to be quite similar to Heroes of Might and Magic. And you know what? I love the Heroes of Might and Magic games, so why the hell not? So, keep in mind this game was developed by one guy. And, yeah, let's just take a look at it. You can build your economy, you can build, you know, armies, and you can use magic and stuff. It sounds pretty damn awesome. Everything you need in a fantasy strategy game. So, uh, easy, normal, or hard, or very hard. Let's go with normal. Ooh, what's this? Death and Doom magic from Necromancy. Life, healing, and holy magic. Like hell. That's for noobs and bloody wimps and pussies. Chaos magic, fire, and destruction magic. Okay, and nature? Control, weather, and the earth. Now that sounds pretty badass. It does, and I'm just gonna say, that was my phone, that was not your escape. Everyone calm down, everyone calm down. Right, uh, chaos or necromancy. Mm -hmm. Death and doom magic. Well, I do like death, and I'm a big fan of doom magic. Hmm. Simple choice. Select a faction type. Right, what we got here then? Hi, men. Elves, cavalry, and phalanx troops. Okay, so they're kind of like the ancient Greeks. Uh, Amazons, fighting women who make war cries. Hmm, well armored and often carry shields. That's kind of the playstyle I usually go with. I really like heavily armored troops, so let's go with the men. Tolkien, oh yeah, I can see what you did there. Unless it has nothing at all to do with Tolkien. Uh, Zama, homeland of the high elves, or Elysian Fields, homeland of the Amazons. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's take the fight to the damn dirty elves. Let's hit that there one there. Right. Uh, ooh. Mm -hmm. I can choose anywhere as my base. It's pretty awesome. Hmm. No. I'm not sure if we actually, you know, you do get a bonus for being like beside the land, like in uh, the Civ games. You know, easier fishing and. Usually in history, most major cities and places are built beside the sea. Uh, and looking at this map here, I have no idea if all the strategic thinking is actually going to come into play, but elves in the foresty areas, that's pretty, you know, much their favorite terrain, so I don't really want to be in a foresty area, but then again, I do need wood. You know, to start up the fires of industry, as a really, really wise white wizard once said. Hmm. You know, this big mountain here obviously has a really good strategic positioning. Uh, hmm. I'll start off down here. Seems to be the best of both worlds, right? Let's go. I always like starting off in a corner. Uh -huh. Are they indeed? To survive and dominate your adversaries, you will need to raise armies and invade their lands. Okay. Right, so I'm presuming that Mr. Adam Rue, or Andrew Rue, sorry, I have a terrible memory for names. Let's just skip that and see if we can get underway here now. Right, okay, use the arrow keys to maneuver the camera. Hmm, is this our force? It is, I'm assuming, so we got towers here. A lot of towers everywhere. Right. So this is my construction, or is this what's actually available to us now? I guess that would have helped actually to have paid attention to the tutorial but i just have a, a knack for you know just closing them and learning everything from uh you know first-hand experience so there's our troops there this is our little general game assuming so what do we have here some spearmen uh some halberd axemen is it okay is it halberd ears yep uh, okay, and is that some... Left, press the construction button. Uh -huh, on the bottom left, press the construction button. Okay, just give me a wee second there, mate. 
Heavy Paladins, so heavy shock cavalry, I'm assuming. Lance cavalry, yep. I have to say, I really do like the, uh, the soundtrack so far. It's making me feel like really old school, like I'm playing the strategy game for the first time on my first ever PC. It's definitely giving me some, giving me some good vibes. Uh, I've noticed the, like, I suppose this is the resource, resource uh, little panel up here. Um, doesn't look too detailed or anything, but, you know, one guy made it. It's all about the gameplay. That's what I'm interested in anyway. Haven't really liked any of the recent uh, Heroes of Might and Magics, and there's another one being developed, I believe. I think it was uh, about two or three back that I really enjoyed them. Can't really remember anything. You see, I've got a broad brain. A broad brain. Right, construction. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, then. That's our armor. Uh, as most noble troops near wear heavy armor, I couldn't really understand this font here. Like this. What is W? It looks kind of like a, you know, an I then a V. The work of a skilled armorer is necessary, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, so, wait, what's going on here? Why can't I click? Barracks, trained the military units. Starts at a barracks, okay. Is that like a stables or something? Oh, a blacksmith, right? Nice. Let's see about getting some construction underway. Hmm. More noble troops. Well, first things first. I mean, any troops at all are going to be a bonus here. And help a lot. So, library, church, chapter house. Ooh, heavy cavalry. Barracks. We already have one of those. Woodcutter allows the train to cross movement, increases range. You know, the more ranged combat became evident in history, the more powerful a nation has become. Let's build that, let's build a crossbow workshop or whatever it was called. And we can move our little force here over here. Right. Are there enemy units, aren't they? Yep, they are. Shows you their strength there. Let's go to see if we can get the combat with them. Played a little game before this one, but it was only like a five, ten minute game. Ooh, death magic. We can put berserk. Uh, causes the target unit to go berserk, doubling attack while defense is rather reading cut in half. Yeah, that font is really not... I mean, it looks pretty and all, but it's, I'm having trouble reading it. Have trouble with reading most of the time. It's a kind of learning difficulty, so it's nothing against the choice of the font itself. On the developer's side. Hmm. Right. So... Where's my little army again? Can I move it somewhere else? No, so that's as far as I can move it then. Um, let's end the turn. We can train troops. Um, swordsmen. Yeah, let's build those guys. Oh, this is a battle? What am I... Oh, right, that's the little lorry I moved my forces into. I didn't understand there. I thought that's what I was trying to build. Uh, yeah, let's command the battle and see how it looks here. Uh, it's very similar to Heroes of Might and Magic, or a turn-based strategy game. Right, so we have to drag our units down here, and we're going to choose where to put them on the map. So there we go, that's our heavy cav. Uh, here's our swordsman. I'll put the swordsman on the center here. Uh, spearman on the left flank here, and halberdiers on the right flank. And Actually, hold on a second. Yeah, that's fine. End placement. What are we going against here? Some dirty elven friggin' swordsman. No problem. So what will we move forward first? I mean, heavy cavalry, you know, charge first to just dis demoralize the enemy is pretty damn useful. That's the way it is historically anyway. Have you ever watched Braveheart? The cavalry are the first in. Shock troops, as they're called. We were spearmen up, our halberdiers. Get everyone moved. There we go. Everything's done, mate. Let's fucking end this turn. What? Right, now they'd move forward. See if we can hit them with a cavalry from the rear here. I think that's as far as I can move them, is it? Oh no, there we go. Hit them on the back there. Hit them from the rear. They dealt 50 damage, cutting their HP in half, and we only took 10, so we're pretty. pretty ahead so far. Right. Move forward, man, to battle! Now you've noticed that maybe it doesn't look as good as games these days do, but 
whenever I come to like a game like this, turn-based strategy, I usually look at how the game plays, and so far it's it just feels like an old school game I could have played like 10, 15 years ago. Victory, there we go, your forces have taken control of Beneventium, slaying one enemy unit without losing any units. Hell yeah. Right, by the way, Mr. Uh, Andre, if you would like any, uh, you know, voice acting done, don't hesitate to ask. Let's do spell research, so new turn info, total revenue, minor revenue, um, upkeep cost, okay. Okay. Let's see about getting some troops recruited here. Now, I'm not going to attack these guys at all yet. I want to go up here and take the north. So I'll move my uh, little army here. Oh. Oh, what are these? Unrest, send more troops to this province. Get out of here, damn dirty rebels. Starting to feel a bit like a total war game here now. All of a sudden to deal with uh, rebels. Upgrade, can we upgrade them? Uh, so they have a lance, spell books. I don't really know what this screen's all about here. Well, that's selling equipment. No, I don't want to do that. Let's uh, see about recruiting some men. Right, so here's Cornus. Mace men, swordsmen, spearmen. Ooh, long swordsmen. Let's get a few of them on the go. They're heavily armored. They have large shield. And... Oh, I can recruit them. Awesome. Train those there, guys, then. I'm going to recruit a few more, then. Recruit. Pretty early in the morning, so my brain hasn't caught up to the rest of me yet, so just bear with me. Uh, you know what? Uh, some more swordsmen will be nice. You know, they're the bread and butter of any army. Melee infantry. And we'll do that there. So has the building been built yet? I wonder how many turns it's going to take. One turn until this building is constructed. That's pretty cool. Ent. Wait, what's this? Oh yeah, it's my abilities, isn't it? Not going to use any of those yet. So the the UI so far the user interface is quite nicely placed. Everything is where it needs to be. I mean it's easily understandable about what everything is. Like this here, I'm assuming is each army I have, which is two now because I recruited a few guys there. Okay, that's the end of turn report. Hmm. Let's move these guys into here, and then we'll move these guys northward. Or well, I suppose we'll move them over our capital at the moment and then the next turn we will move them forward into battle once more send the L turn there more forces okay you need to know how to combine armies first drag the token then drop it on the other glowing token no ball mate no ball at all like there we go we have marched north into combat it's a little bit jittery here and there had a bit of trouble trying to get this thing recorded so far, but seems like everything's fine now. Right, skip that, and then turn, and we should be doing a battle. Right, here we go. Command forces. Well, what are they? Hoplites. Ooh, damn. Elves get hoplites. I didn't know that. Hoplites are awesome. And yeah, that's how to resolve. I think we're just going to pretty much annihilate them. I didn't lose any units. Go us. Global. Domination is one step further ahead. Or one less step. S something like that anyway. I'd be terrible as like a, a global dictator or ruler because I just don't speak. But my brain wants me to speak. Right. Let's see if that's constructed. It is down there. Let's construct another little build. And we'll build uh, a windmill. I increases our revenue. That's pretty cool. Okay. And I believe we can construct something here, can we? Oh, we can. What do we want to build? A church? You know what? Religion causes more problems than it solves. And even though it's probably just for clerics which heal people. Uh, increases the rate which he research spells. Oh, damn. Water mill. Increases revenue. Let's get one of those built. The more money we have, the better everything goes. Uh-huh. Okay. The number of commoner troops you can train is in green. Noble troops you can train is in blue. Oh, so I was close. Have a green background, and noble troops have a blue background. Ah, so like knights and uh, knights and just normal spearmen. Awesome, thank you. To train more of these units, you will need to build more houses. Okay, so it's pretty much like total war, or the uh, 
what are those games called? You know, the one Stronghold. That's it. Stronghold series. Right, now we seem to be surrounded here, but these are, I'm going to assume, just neutral troops. Oh, these guys are spreading their influence here. Got a wee enemy here already. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Alright, let's get a few more troops recruited into this. Do oh, I can't, damn it. Okay, uh, so is that the amount of troops I can have at all? Oh, we've got a crossbow men. Awesome. Let's train those guys. Train another one. And we'll get a group of longsword men as well. Train. Job done. End turn. This is one of these games I would sit and play for hours upon hours and then look at the clock and go, how the hell did 10 days suddenly pass? <laughs> uh, we're not doing too good. You know, well, on the gold front right now, I think I've been spending a lot more than I've been earning. Uh, it might be good to build some stuff up here. So, what? No, I can't even afford anything. See? They're all in the. Actually, look, there's only 600, but I still can't afford it. Right, okay. Uh, in turn. There's our new forces. Are arriving. Oh. Right, new turn info. There we go. Let's drop them on top of these guys. Oh, why can't they do it? I don't understand, Batman. Why can't I do it? Maybe it's because they don't have a noble unit yet. Is that it? No, oh, they are a noble unit. Ah, I've already moved them this turn into this region, so next turn I'll probably have to... Yeah, I get it now. I get it. See? Tutorials, people. They help a lot. Um... Hmm. Well, I'd be... Pretty silly if I didn't take care of this blue at the bottom here. This is... I'm assuming on another player, not a player, you know, another nation. So, you know what, I'll cut across here, I'll take this area. Uh, I'll move these guys north, because, you know what, I need units in the region to stop any rebels. Or rebellions from starting off, so let's end our turn. Uh, something I should be doing, actually, is... Man forces, uh, auto resolve. There we go, job done is uh, researching magic or something, so... Hmm... Black Prayer costs 35 mana, which is all enemy units, I suppose. Uh, that sounds pretty damn useful, actually. Black Prayer. So does the Berserk. Um, you know, I could probably just wipe out any one unit with the Heavy Cav, if I use Berserk on them. But then again, they might just take quite a bit of damage in the process. Right, so there is our units. Report. Recruited. Yep, I was right. There we go. Our forces are combined. Hmm. So what have we got here? Crossbowmen. Let's move the heavy cav into this region. There we go. Uh, how are they doing? They're not doing too good, actually. Um, they need a lot of healing. Taking quite some damage. So I probably do need a cleric. So I'll save up for a church, which is how much again? 1200, okay. That's not too bad, is it? No, that's not too bad at all. And turn. Takes a little while for the turn to initiate. Then we get our new turn report, end of turn report, as it were. Alright, we should be able to afford the church now. Oh, where is it? There it is there. Build. Okay. Two turns. And turn. Um. You turn him from okay, not too bad, and turn again. Then we have our church, and I'm hoping that we can build clerics that we can heal with. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Train. Housing, I need housing, okay. Uh, that's probably going to cost quite a pretty penny, isn't it? So, uh, construction. Where are the houses? Noble housing. I don't think a cleric will be noble, would it? Maybe it would, actually. Um, 1200, holy crap. Market increases revenue by 600. Yes, please, I need more money. More money is always good. Oh, here we go. Enemy units just appeared. It looks to be like part of the blue team. The blue nation has come upon us, my brothers. It is time to consolidate our forces and build our defenses. Siege this area. Oh, I see a castle. We didn't lose any units again. Awesome. Awesome. Little castle here. I'm wondering what that's all about. Hmm. I suppose we'll find out soon enough. 
We will take the battle to them, and then we will end their lives. Bit harsh lack, but you know, it needs to be done. War time and all that. Magic and tyranny and battle. Uh, library. Commoner housing. Yes, we need that. Build. Confirm. Oh, here uh, I see you there. Oh, you moved back. It's a good thing you did that, otherwise you've been just con absolutely and all combobulated and all that there, whatever I'm saying. I have no idea. Right, um, mm -hmm. pretty damn happy about that. Let's combine those forces and turn. Auto resolve. Right, still haven't lost the unit, but I don't want to, you know, keep on fighting because I think we may lose one soon. Right, there's the enemy blue team. I think I'll be pretty happy after we get them killed. I'm going to check out this little area here, though. That's one turn away, and so is this one, so... I'll take those guys out first. It's, you know, a better decision taking out your enemies before just exploring and wasting time. Right. So did we get that little house built? We did. We now can recruit one just normal commoner and two noblemen. Right. So I built the church here, didn't I? No, I didn't. It must have been here. Clerics. Noble unit that can heal your units. That's what I'm after. Train. How many turns is that? Just one? Good. Good, my friend. Good. Attack. Damn rebels. Get out of my territory. God damn it. I'll get my cleric and get these guys healed up a little bit then, you know. Oh, actually, fuck it. To war! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, what? Oh, my God. We got wiped out somewhere. They're taking my territory. Hmm. March forward, my brothers. To battle. I'm just leaving rebellions in my wake. This isn't going to turn out too well. It's one of the reasons I really don't play Total War games for, you know, 100 turns plus. Well, not recently anyway, because, you know, rebellions are annoying. You have to usually download a mod that just appeases your people and gives them, like, I don't know, weed or something to please them. Keep them on a mellow yellow, you know, down. Keep their anxiety down. Keep their happiness up. Victory! Defeat? Victory! Defeat! God damn it. It's these damn bloody... Rebels that are doing my head in here. Uh, so I'm gonna have to recruit a unit here, which I can't do because I haven't built anything there yet. Um, well, I don't have a great deal of income at the moment. Um, hmm. Can we use berserk? It's alchemy. No, no, that doesn't sound too good right now. Not at all. So we'll have resources up here as well. Our mana. For our spells. It's a lot like uh, Heroes of Might and Magic, which is a good thing. I really like Heroes of Might and Magic. There were a couple of other games that have influenced Andrew. One of them being the Total War series, which is awesome. Right. We're getting really, 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 really close to the enemy now. Or I suppose we should say they're getting closer to us. I want to see what this is. So, damn it! And turn. Let's see what happens here. I think we're just going to get invaded. Maybe I should have picked easy. Uh, let's command the battle. They have two cavalry units, whereas I have a cleric, crossbowman, and longswordman. So we'll put our cleric here, and we'll put our crossbowman here. Swordsman here. End placement. So. And. Let's move those forward. Move our crossbowmen up. Move our clerks in behind our swordsman. And end the turn. Are they javelin men or something? Didn't get a good look at them. Thirty-four damage, awesome. Where's my knights? And my long swordsmen. Move them over. Move my clerics. Yeah, I'll keep them here for the time being. And turn. 
Oh, God, no. No! Get away from them, you swains. Heal. Why didn't he heal? Hmm? I have no idea what's going on. Let's take these guys down. There we go. We're still doing some damage, but we're taking heavy damage. Uh, I should move my clerics over here. Let's see what I got. Uh, Black Prayer. Let's... Yeah, let's do Berserk even. On our Longswordsman. In turn. Ah, oh, I used Dice Bolt to finish off my archers. Damn it. Crossbowmen, you'll have a better time in the afterlife. I have treated you poorly. And unstrategically. God damn it. No, leave my clerks alone, you swines. Oh, wow, they racked them. Alright, so they're pretty much out of the game. Out for the count. Alright, four. That's made the damage right. Clerks are out of the game. I'm taking a massive pounding here. There we go. Battle won, but with massive losses on my side. Damn it. Alright, so I'm just being pretty much annihilated here. They have a lot more territory than me. Uh, it looks like they're being invaded as well. Wow, there are a lot more people in the game than I thought there were. So there you go, guys. That is Arcane Sorcery. It is available now on Steam. I would actually recommend picking it up if you're a 4 strategy fan. Um, just don't judge a bad looks. I mean... I'm probably going to be back onto it later on after some Metal Gear Solid just to, you know, mix things up a little bit. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you want to. Like if you want to. I'm not going to force you to unless you force me to it. I will see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.